All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Lion Steel TRE tray here with me for a review, and we're gonna analyze the look, the sound, and the feel of this guy. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. So let's see what do we have here. Uh, this is the Lion Steel TRE tray uh, with uh, uh, an overall length of uh, just right uh, below seven inches, uh, with a th right below three inch uh, uh, blade length and right below four inch. Uh, uh, length in the handle. Let's see how this guy compares up against uh, like for example these usual suspects. So right over here we've got Ontario Rad number two and Ontario Rad number one and uh, this guy is a small guy I have to say. It's uh, smaller than the Ontario Rad number two. Um, right over here let's see for example how it does up uh, to um, the Spyderco Para 3 and again it's smaller than that of course it's going to be smaller than the Spyderco Para Military 2 but uh, you can see that uh, it has more cutting uh, edge of the uh, Spyderco and it has less handle like this uh, than, than this so keep that in mind. Uh, up against the um, Chris Reeve knives, the small Sebenta 31 is doing pretty equally because they are roughly the same length and I appreciate that. That's a nice uh, and small uh, EDC option for you guys. Uh, but if you check it up against the large Sebenta 21, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's, not, uh, it's not comparable. Um, what about uh, a Custom Knife Factory 520? Yeah, this is chubbier, it's bigger, it's it's probably cooler, yeah, it's cooler uh, than that, but it's um, also like, uh, uh, of course, smaller than the Custom Knife Factory Snafu 2.0 designed by Peter Rassenti. And um, uh, let's see, for example, one more comparable option to this guy is gonna be the Shirogorov Neon Zero, which is a little bit bigger than that. Uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, this is, of course, huge compared to that but the, the compared to the neon it's kind of like uh, in the same realm uh, this is for example the chiburk of uh, uh, small strige and it's uh, very very comparable in size uh, but also bigger uh, this is the um, hollow knife abalone uh, mokutai and damascus so you can see uh, that this is just a little bit smaller than that and uh, let's see what else uh, can i show you guys let's let me show you some big boys uh, you've got the custom knife factory tashi barusha collaboration justice and i'm gonna show you look at this another beast just for fun this is the uh, wolf from uh, Cheburkov again, and I'm gonna show you another couple options uh, more uh, uh, popular. This is the Hinder Knives uh, XM18, 3.5 inch long, and uh, yeah, why not? Uh, this is the uh, Koenig Knives Arius uh, uh, Style 55. Uh, what else can I show you? Well, this guy, because I like it so much, this is uh, uh, Holt Blade Works Spectre, uh, Prestige version 2, and lastly, yeah, one more. One more, we have space, of course, for another Dama Steel Blade, the Peter Rassenti design, uh, large Nirvana 3.0. So, as you can see, this guy is not like a, a super big knife. It's, it's contained in size. It's kind of like uh, on the smaller side uh, size for me but it's nicely done there's some good things uh, about it some other not so good but uh, overall i like it it's it's a classy uh, titanium frame lock uh, with nice milling lines going on uh, it's it's nicely done uh, nothing nothing to say about that uh, it's gonna be uh, around um, uh, 350 dollars 400 something in that range with the damasteel uh, blade and uh, you have some pretty cool milling uh, um, on the scales, let's say that, because it's nicely chamfered, nicely designed. I like this design. What I don't really like, it's like this. What is this? I mean, why you have to ruin this this part, this side? Because, I mean, you want, yeah, I get it. You want to reverse the clip, but I don't. <laughs> I, I find it fine on this side. So I would have preferred a little bit more... Um, cleanliness going on on this side but I mean that's just me 
Uh, also, what I appreciate is the uh, backspacer. It's nice. It's kind of like semi-floating backspacer. You see, it's like suspended. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, makers they do a floating backspacer, like in this case, just uh, achieving it with uh, uh, washers, as you can see. So the backspacer is floating. It's not touching uh, the liners. In this case, they just extended a little bit these three points of contact to make it look like it's floating. Look at that, and hiding the blade behind that and looking clean and see-through. Very, very good option. Also nicely rounded off and they left the option for a lanyard hole going on over here. So all good uh, from this uh, perspective. Also, you've got some very, very cool 3D milling going on. Nicely chamfered, nicely rounded off uh, on this side and squared off, but still uh, rounded off uh, with a very, very small amount of chamfering going on on the inside. And also you can see some milling lines going on right here in the um, area where you uh, need to touch and make contact to release the lock bar. Um, also, these screws are uh, only on one side. On this side, you have like this uh, uh, dead, uh, like uh, closed uh, um, bolts, let's say, and uh, which are keeping the all area here pretty, pretty clean. Uh, of course, uh, you've got uh, um, lock uh, face stainless steel insert with two screws, which is uh, going to prevent any kind of lock stick uh, uh, from the contact with the titanium, because this is titanium, with the steel of the blade, so you're good to go. You have an external cutout for the uh, lock bar uh, right over here. Nice cutout uh, for uh, accessing the uh, lock bar to disengage it you have a very, very simple construction going on. Basically, you have a T8 screw for the pivot and T6 for these three handle screws, which are absolutely flush, not protruding, really, really cool design and super easy disassemble procedure. I mean, you just take these guys out and you are done. And you're gonna be uh, actually witnessing some extensive internal milling, nice skeletonization going on to reduce the weight. And you're gonna see some uh, uh, caged ball bearings, uh, right there and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be nice so nicely constructed uh, on the inside of course uh trying on bearings and it has also stainless steel hardened washers to prevent the um, the titanium to be uh, let's say damaged and um, uh, consumed by the rubbing of the ball bearings going on on the inside of course you've got a 3d mill titanium pocket clip which is reversible uh, on the on the left side as well and uh, but it's going to be tip up carry only no option for tip down which is good and uh, if you check the blade, you have this pretty cool steel looking blade, nicely, nicely rounded off on the spine, beautifully done. And also what I really like is that they rounded off also this area here, which usually they don't, they don't take care of this side. And I like it, it's, uh, it's really nice to the touch. Nicely rounded off over here. You have this uh, um, screw over here, which is, uh, useful if you want to install a thumb disc and if you want to remove this flipper tab same thing you just unscrew this flipper tab is gone thumb disc or you can do no nothing and just pinch this guy over here like that so pretty easy but i was saying you know nicely nicely rounded off you have like this kind of false harpoon kind of thing going on over here nicely done and uh, three uh 30 percent probably 40 percent of belly and then straight edge up to the sharpening choil which is um, i mean the stock thickness is relatively thick for this guy but um, uh, you've got a full flat grind and uh, it's it's nice and slicey not the thinness behind the edge but it's it's cool um, you've got the lion steel italy uh etched logo which is disappearing under some uh, light conditions as you can see and on this uh, side over here you have nothing so pretty sterile looking blade uh, really really love this twist going on um, on this blade it's a beautiful dama steel a hundred percent uh, of course, you have a nice plunge grind right over here, which is curving down and reaching up the spine of the blade. Beautifully done, I have to say. What I'm not like really a fan of is the uh, sound of this guy because, yeah, I mean, it's it's very mellow. I mean, it's nice because it's mellow, it's soft, but it's uh, 
kind of like uh, anonymous. Let me say that. There's no, it, it has no character. It has no personality like uh, some other knives that you uh, can actually uh, recognize by the sound. For example, I'm thinking like this guy over here. I mean, this sound is unique. This sound is not. It's it's nice, I mean, it's pleasant because it's quiet, but it's nothing crazy, nothing to write home about. Um, I'm a fan, actually, of the weight because this guy is going to weigh in at 2.7 ounces. Really, really nice skeletonization going on to reduce the weight. It's beautifully executed, I have to say. Also, uh, the grip is good because there's no hot spots. It feels pretty good in the hand. Not really uh, that much for the uh, reverse grip because look at this. My hand is just gonna swallow all the handle. And I, may, I feel I'm missing some uh, some parts, some uh, uh, handle. Uh, right at the heel but overall still you can do it not really much uh, uh grip for like a choke up grip but uh, still it's uh, it's doable there's no jimping going on it's very very smooth all around uh, but there's no sharp edges i mean maybe a little bit over here because these uh, uh protruding screws are pro I they might be in the way a little bit but not that much i mean it, it's still good uh, overall, it feels solid because, of, especially of the backspacer, how it's built um, right over here, it's it's absolutely uh, giving like a solid feel to the overall construction of this knife and you have uh, some nice texture going on which is going to be adding a little bit of uh, uh, more grippiness to this uh, handle uh, i don't see uh, gaps or flaws in the constructions everything looks pretty much aligned the blade uh, is centered to me uh, there is no blade play and uh, overall feel of the knife is solid in the hand so nicely executed uh, you have uh, uh, basically a light switch option uh, to deploy the blade because like uh, the push button is gonna work unless uh, it's not gonna work unless you just really dig into that and push it strong because if you do it lightly it's not gonna deploy so uh, because of the geometry of the uh, flipper tab you are better off just with a light switch and it's gonna be reliably deploying um, in a smooth way I have to say because of course uh, you have uh, some nice uh, caged ball bearings um, running this pivot around the pivot but uh, uh, overall I mean the detent strength is on the medium light side there's no no kickback of course because the blade is pretty pretty light uh, no way you're gonna be able to touch the tip of the blade because it's nicely protected there's nothing rattling when shaken um, uh, what else? You've got, uh, of course, a nice uh, uh, lock uh, release cutout, so no lock stick, easy to disengage. You don't have any um, detent ball wrap, so you're gonna feel a little bit the um, uh, the hard step when you close the blade but not a big deal you have a free fall as soon as you disengage the lock bar but there's no guillotine effect when hold when held in a vertical position you're just gonna have to give it a little wiggle to for it to be uh, shutting closed so uh, I mean the action is is nice it's uh, it's not 100% uh, perfect but um, Overall, it's good. Um, I mean, this is a this is a nice looking knife, guys. Uh, I like the execution of the milling. I'm not a fan of this uh, area over here, as I said. Love, love the blade style, the shape, the the the, the pattern. Uh, not really a fan of the flipper tab. I I, I understand the uh, thumb disc option. Uh, nice uh, pocket clip. The action is all right. The sound is nah, It's meh. It's not like a fan fantastic um but overall it's a it's a it's a decent knife for the price uh, and for what uh, it has going on so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned